Now coming to the next topic on page 194 cell division. Okay, to understand this topic, let's take an example. Just recall when you were in grade 1 and now when you are in grade 8. Is there any changes between then and now? Yes, obviously. That time you were a small kid and now a grown-up, a teenager. That means a continuous growth or repair and replacement of cell in the body is taking place, which leads to all these changes. So, this growth and changes in the body are the result of a process which is called as cell division. In this process, the parent cell divides and form more cells of its kind. Now, look at this diagram. It explains the division of the parent cell into two daughter cells. First of all, this genetic material inside this cell, which is the DNA, inside the nucleus, it replicates. Replicates means it forms its duplicate or make its another copy. Then the nucleus split into two. And then the cytoplasm where this nucleus is present, it divides into the two cells called the daughter cells, which then grow to their full size and divide again into two more. This whole process is called as binary fusion. Binary fusion means binary. Binary means by, like two. As the parent cell is dividing into two, therefore it is called as binary fusion or it is also called as mitosis. You will study in detail about this cell division, mitosis and meiosis process in grade 10th. This cell division is a way of reproduction in unicellular and lower organisms only. But in multicellular organism, the way of reproduction is different. It takes place by male and female gametes which will be explained in chapter 14. Now, here are some in-between questions of the pages explained to you. Write them and learn them. Read the chapter again till explain and try to make more questions to understand the concept properly. Thank you.